Hungarian folk tales. The Magic Mill. Once upon a time, there lived a poor old man who had more children than there are holes in a sieve. His oxen were so small that they were barely any bigger than grasshoppers. The poor man and his wife spent all their days and nights worrying about how they would feed their very large family. One day, the poor man hitched his tiny two oxen to his tiny cart and went into the forest. The poor man was busy collecting dry branches and stacking them neatly on the back of his cart when he caught sight of a boy and a girl playing in a clearing close by. And the children began to talk to him. The poor man soon learned that the girl was the daughter of the King of the Sunrise and the boy the son of the King of the Sunset. As the three of them chatted away, the boy noticed the two tiny oxen. The little prince was so besotted with these miniature beasts that he begged the poor man to sell them to him. The young prince appealed and pleaded and promised the poor man that his father, the king, would reward him richly, and so the poor man eventually agreed. When the poor man arrived home without the oxen, there was an almighty argument. And his wife was so angry with her husband that he turned on his heels and left the house for the court of the King of the Sunset. The poor man arrived to see the prince playing with the two tiny oxen. Come, kind sir, come, said the prince, and let me give you some advice. No matter what my father offers you, you should refuse it and insist that he gives you the magic mill in payment. So the poor man went to the king who said, Your two tiny oxen give my son such great joy and pleasure that you may have whatever you ask. Then the poor man noticed that the magic mill was on the table and it was so very small that it looked like a child's toy. So the poor man said, Your Majesty, the only thing I wish to have in return for my two tiny oxen is this tiny mill on your table. The king said, Sir, you may have whatever you wish for, but not that. Now then, thought the poor man, this tiny mill isn't a toy after all, as the king does not want to part with it. The poor man humbly added, Your Majesty, please let me have this tiny mill so that my children may also have a toy to play with. The king loved his own child very dearly, so he agreed to give the poor man the mill. Then the prince said, Kind sir, you should leave for your home now, and when you arrive back, place the mill on the table and say, Magic mill, give me gold and food to eat. And when the mill has made enough, you simply say, Magic mill, stop your magic now. The poor man was delighted with his prize. He then thanked the prince for his kindness, put the tiny mill under his arm, and hurried home so quickly that his feet never touched the ground. He was on his way home when he saw something large and black looming towards him, but he could not for the life of him guess what it was. And what do you think it was? It was a horrible, huge, black hat. Underneath the hat was a man, and the poor man joked with him and said, Good day, good friend. Isn't that hat too tight for you? The hatted man replied, Instead of mocking me, sir, why don't you give me a bit of bread because I haven't eaten for three days straight? The poor man said, But I don't have any food with me either. But then he remembered the magic mill and said, Magic mill, give me good food to eat. The poor man had barely finished speaking when so much food appeared that there was enough to feed a village for a week. Magic Mill, stop your magic now! Then the two men ate and talked a while until the hatted man said, Good sir, your mill is a magical thing indeed, but my black hat also has spectacular powers. Ask for one of anything and it will give you two instead. I will trade my hat for your mill. Sir, I'm not a fool. That's what you think, just watch this, said the man in the hat. Fire! Enough! Yes, said the poor man. I see your hat is quite splendid. But a hat such as that would not save me from starvation. 
but the hatted man appealed and pleaded with the poor man until he eventually agreed to the exchange. When the hatted man walked away, he also left a stick lying on the ground. The poor man was left feeling cheated and sad when the stick suddenly spoke up and said, Why so sad, master? I'm sad because I have lost the little sense I was born with, and I'm sad because I have lost my magic mill that I was foolish enough to swap for a hat. Then, in an instant, the stick hurried away and reappeared with the magic mill. And so the poor man had no reason to feel sad a moment longer. When the poor man returned home, his family surrounded him and rejoiced when they learned that the mill had magic powers. Days and months passed and one day the poor man was standing at his gate when he saw the king approaching on foot with his wife and son. The poor man asked the king, Where to, your majesty? Where are you walking on foot? The king replied, We're in very great trouble. The king of the north has invaded my kingdom and I have been forced to flee my home with my beloved family. But don't be sad over such a little matter, your majesty. I will mend matters in no time at all. Then the poor man put the huge hat on his head, took the stick in his hand and set off to find the King of the North's soldiers. It was not long before he stumbled across them because the King of the Sunset's kingdom was crowded from border to border by the soldiers. Then the poor man climbed to the top of a hill, pointed his huge black hat in the direction of the enemy and commanded, Hat! Fire! He then sent his stick after the men to beat their behinds to make them run faster still. The carnage was incredible and not a single soldier of the King of the North survived to tell the tale of what had happened that day. Having destroyed the enemy, the poor man turned and made his way home, where he told the king what he had done and that he could return to the Sunset Kingdom. Then the king purchased the hat and the stick from the poor man and made his way back to his royal home. So now the Sunset Prince married the Sunrise Princess. They had a wonderful wedding and the poor man led the dancing and if his legs can stand it, he is still dancing to this very day.